Imagine that a pandemic flu has struck the United States. Hospitals and public health clinics are being inundated with patients suffering from extreme respiratory distress, along with a steady stream of self-presenting individuals who are not yet ill, but who fear they may have been exposed to this contagion. While public health agencies and advocates have long encouraged people to develop personal and family preparedness plans, few did so, and confusion abounds. Roles and community response plans are not always clear, and health professionals are trying to help, but local agencies are overwhelmed. This story represents some of the challenges you may have experienced or heard about regarding disasters and public health emergencies. I'm here to talk to you about a curriculum we developed to help address those challenges in order to better prepare health professionals to support response and recovery efforts. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Kelly Gully, Senior Project Coordinator at the National Center for Disaster Medicine and Public Health at the Uniform Services University of the Health Sciences. Back in 2012, a broad set of leaders in the field developed a core competency model that describes the core knowledge and skills that disaster medicine and public health professionals need to prepare for, respond to, and recover from disasters and public health emergencies. There are 11 core competencies in all, along with sub-competencies, and they're designed to help health professionals support situations like the one I described in the opening. In 2017, I worked with a team at the National Center to develop 11 online lessons focused on each of the 11 competencies to give health professionals like you the foundational knowledge you need. Each lesson was written by a leader in the field, including Dr. Matthew Winia, Dr. Dan Barnett, Dr. Edbert Shu, and Dr. Lainey Rutkow. In addition, these leaders appear throughout the lessons on video to personally share their insights. You'll also hear from Dr. Thomas Kirsch and Condra Strauss Riggs. The lessons range from 20 minutes to one hour in length, though you don't need to take all of them in one sitting. They each feature topics focused on each sub competency's sub competency as well as knowledge checks to help you test your knowledge, and then a capstone scenario where you put your knowledge into practice. Each lesson concludes with a reference list and additional resources to help you continue your learning journey. In addition, free continuing education credits will be offered for each lesson. We encourage you to take these lessons yourself, as well as encourage others to do so or consider having your team complete the lessons and facilitate a live discussion about what you've learned. We want to hear your feedback on these lessons. After you complete each lesson, we have a small ask that you complete a brief five-minute survey about the lessons. We want to know what works and doesn't so that we can update the lessons over time to meet your needs and develop other products to serve you and we encourage you to continue the conversation about what you've learned on National Center social media and by reaching out directly to the National Center via our website. Follow the National Center on social media to keep up with ongoing developments and visit our website. And thank you for all you do to protect our nation's health from disasters.